The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. Biden administration canceled Prime Minister Kobahidze's invitation to an official annual reception. Later, the U.S. Embassy in Georgia issued the statement explaining the reasons behind this decision. According to the embassy, the Biden administration resigned it, uh, Prime Minister Kobahidze's invitation to its annual UNGA reception and declined to meet with the Georgian delegation due to increasing concerns about the Georgian government's anti-democratic actions, disinformation and negative rhetoric about the United States and the West. The society is not aware of any other meetings of the Prime Minister in UN. Prime Minister administration has not disseminated any detailed information either. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development has raised Georgia's economic growth forecast for 2024 by 1.3 percentage to 6.5 percent from its previous prediction in May. The EBRD said that GDP growth was forecast to moderate to 4.6 percent in 2025 in Georgia. According to EBRD, East Europe and Caucasus is set to face 3.7 economic growth with the highest growth for Georgia within the region. Ministry of Finance published Georgia's external public debt statistics as of August 2024. According to the document, the number has reached 9 billion 980 million US dollars up to 420 million dollars signed the same period of the previous year. Georgia's external debt has grown annually by 1.67 billion Georgian lari, equaling 24 billion 190 million Georgian lari. Judgment was handed down by the Singapore Court of Appeal in Ivanishvili against Credit Suisse Trust, bringing an end to a long-running jurisdiction battle between the trustees and beneficiaries of Singaporean Trust. Credit Suisse has to pay Bidina Ivanishvili 743 million US dollars. Yandex uh, Go fined by 4,000 Georgian Lari for sending consumer IP addresses to Georgia. The Personal Data Protection Service on Monday said Ride Attack Georgia LLC, which is Yandex Go and Yandex Pro in Georgia, which provides taxi services via the Yandex Go and Yandex Pro, breached Georgian law on personal data protection. The investigation found out that applications connecting to servers in the Russian Federation shared IP addresses with another state, the agency reported. The company was fined 4,000 Georgian Lari as an administrative penalty. Rydetech Georgia says they will appeal this decision since data is stored on servers in the European Union countries and not Russia. Georgi Amilakhvari, the Minister of Education, Science and Youth of Georgia, has officially resigned from his position. Amilakhvari announced his resignation during a briefing later this week. I'm returning to the private sector business. This is what the minister says, emphasizing that this decision was coordinated with the team. Georgia's Prime Minister expressed his regret over our minister's resignation, thanked Amilakhvari and wished him success. The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.